New tonight, a first look inside the shuttered St. Luke's Hospital as the state is preparing to add more bed capacity. But tonight, ABC 15's Nicole Grigg asking, what will it take for the state to open doors? The deadline to have St. Luke's operational is May 2nd, eight days from now. But the big question is, what's the trigger point to activate it? A new inside view of what's happening inside St. Luke's Hospital. The plan is still on to get the building operational. Everybody makes the assumption is that the uh, facility was really good to go when it closed in November. The reality is after about a week of investigation, uh, it had a lot of work to need to be done. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers still moving forward. They're working on plumbing, replacing fixtures to eventually add more hospital capacity for the worst case scenario. It really doesn't matter if we need it or not. The whole idea is being uh, prepared. This chart helping us understand the most vulnerable populations. The blue shows ICU beds occupied. The orange shows you which ones are COVID-19 patients and the green shows what's available. Right now, there's around 550 ICU beds. The governor spoke earlier this week about capacity. We have hospital capacity in Arizona. And as you can see, COVID-19 cases occupy just a small portion of capacity available of our hospital beds, less than 10%. This is good news and it shows we're prepared in Arizona. We asked the state what will the trigger point be to open the hospital if they're waiting for other hospitals to first hit capacity, but they would only say they're moving forward with a scalable plan to open it when feasible. We reached out to the Department of Health for better clarity on what that scalable plan is, but we did not hear back. Reporting in Phoenix, Nicole Gregg, ABC 15, Arizona.